Well, ah, there are the bananas. Crap. Yep, we are on to Banana Valley, which is what Cubay wanted. And might as well look at the map before the game starts. So it looks like it is pretty metal heavy. Fairly sparse, though, and has a couple of valleys in the main base. One small, one large. It's kind of like... Uh, I want to say Frozen Planet, not quite. It's Actually, it is kind of like Frozen Planet, except with a giant open midsection. If we were to cut Frozen Planet open and split it in half. It's similar to Sapphire Shores Dry, where it's got oh, sort yeah, of a flat actually, area. Oh, yeah, a better example. Except without cutting things in half and ripping them open. And people what? usually find it. <laughs> Does Sapphire Shores do that? No, 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 no. I, I was talking about the comparison to Frozen Planet because that was top in my head, but that was a bad comparison. Right. Yeah. Sapphire okay. Shores is a much better comparison. I feel yeah, like it's I'm very, very sort of flat in the middle. So it'd be interesting to see whether anyone goes a flat factory like um, tanks. Yeah. Or mm, this um, route of magma is quite odd. Vehicles. He starts yeah, at the I, north and then he walks to the south. <laughs> I think he's got it set up wrong. Yeah, he still needs to switch his start location. Yeah, he must have just hit the mouse button randomly. That or he thinks he's over on the right side, not on the left side, for whatever reason. Not sure about that. It looks like looks like QB's going planes this game, though. Which is, you know, we're going to... I expected <laughs> more plane play, but in a big open-wide map like this, I mean, it's not open and wide, it's... Actually, it's fairly it's, it's contained in the center section. The it's bases are hard to, going to yeah. be hard to attack. This is going to probably take a while, because the bases look like they're really easily defended. Yeah, I mean, you'd be surprised how much those natural barriers are actually, um, if you choose jump or spider. Although, I don't know if jump can actually jump all the way across those, but spider definitely mm. leak mm. right over the top of them. But okay, well, here we go. Wow, okay, yeah. so Magman just trying to expand out before building a factory, the light vehicle factory, while air start immediately from Cubay, going straight for lots of swifts. Uh, Magman is morphing also. Oh, so he is. And they are. And then... Google Frog going for Light Vehicle Factory? Well, I can going for Air Start as well, so pretty much identical starts. This is the first mirrored match we've had at all today, actually. Yeah. I, I think the gender neutral pronoun is probably not necessary for Mag Man. I mean, <laughs> but yeah. I suppose. It's one of those sort of a masking yeah. thing by way of being non specific in all cases, but whatever. Mm, yep. But uh, yeah, I, I expect him to just, he's going to be just pushing across the land and trying to take as much territory <laughs> as possible with a Morse commander. While um, Cube uses his commander defensively to defend his, um, to take the mechs at the back and defend the, um, the, 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 the aircraft the response. Yeah, which there are quite a few. I mean, I mean, like Magman's strategy is definitely risky, but starting with Scorchers is the best way I can think of to go about it, especially since that is a riot cannon battle com. Couldn't ask for a better yeah, one. Yeah, it's a pushing commander to p force out any raiders and take as much territory into the middle as possible. Yeah. Whereas Google Frog's strategy is to take more of the uh, safe expansion first. While um, Aquanim is using his commander to, to push out. Mm -hmm. um, oh boy. It's a lot of constructors uh, Google Frog uh, started out with. Yeah, very heavy. If he can get away with this, which I expect he can, if, because there's not much. If they keep, keep playing without any rating for about two or three minutes, they're going to run away. Yeah, because that entire south side, not even using the commanders, just. They're just going. A Magman isn't Everything. using his scorches, so it looks like uh, Magman is trying to use them defensively. Google Frog is really going to claim all these maxes really quickly. Yeah, there's a ton of maxes which can be protected with just two LLTs, and on the south side, Google's already putting off his first LLT there. Yeah, because like I said, so this is a choke if point, you, right? I mean, yeah, Magman so needs to use his advantage that he has access to more maxes quicker, but yeah. then you need to build constructors to use it. Start is expanding uh, backwards. Advantage. Well, there's one Mason coming up now. Mason you should have now. started there anyway. Yeah. Mason is being built, so that will solve yeah. that problem. But yeah, it is a little bit later than it yeah, should it's be. It's almost two minutes late uh, compared to, or three minutes late compared it's, to what, what Magman's doing is just a really poor idea. Minutes ago. Three minutes later. He's morphed his, he's morphed his commander to a riot cannon auto repair system, and he's expanding backwards while what? he's making a constructor, which is now expanding forwards. I, it's my, I, he's I, he's not thinking about this. Whereas Google Fraud I has think, totally taken all the safe mixes already. I think, I think Magman and Cube are probably either pissed off or just kind of flustered at this point. Because, I mean, they have just lost two games in a row publicly. 
I know that feeling. It's not a feeling you want to feel, so I can totally understand why they'd be getting a little bit flustered. I have a hard time concentrating. Because it's However, there are still four scorches getting uh There are still four scorches that are getting rid of a mason. That is gonna work out beautifully. However actually oh yeah, that'll take care of the lotus too. Although no, it won't. The hill will stop that. The scorches won't be able to go up the hill quickly enough to be able to get to that lotus. The real thing is the extra damage from the Swifts. I mean, on its own, the Lotus couldn't stop them, but the Swifts are enough. Yeah. Uh, although they're now engaging in an air battle, which will mean they're distracted and won't be able to... It, it, but, there's yeah, any time to... Like you'd have to have the full four Scorchers to get up that hill, just because it's a hill. And Scorchers are coming back in as well for Google Frog. Well, QB and uh, Magman do have the army advantage now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I they think do a lot have of that more is fighters. They did manage to keep... The first scorch is alive. Yeah, they're actually doing. Oh, Cuba's doing much better in the air war too. They're, yeah, that's what I say. Yeah, they're getting everything for that one. I think um, Google Frog's commander is really vulnerable right now, and it is. Cuba spotted it. If he but, um, would have made bombers now. Uh... No, there's no. Well, I don't, I don't think he could afford that. to until mm -hmm. he clears out the swifts. But it's more that. Yeah. Um. It's more the the um scorches, but he's he's, he's defended now, so yeah, it's not going to work. Although not by much, actually. He's oh, burying no, himself. Three. He's, he's that he's that afraid that he's burying himself. Wow, that is. Uh, Google Frog is not. Uh, oh, it's Aquanium. He's not using his fighters yeah, uh, well enough. QB is just microing better. Yeah, QB knows where to focus fire. QB knows where to pull it. How the momentum is going to work much better. It looks like Google Frog. See, I Google Frog is still going to go down, actually, or at least. Oh. oh yeah, Google Frog is going down uh, despite the whole... Google Frog seems to have dug uh, their own can grave. Can he do it? Can he do it? Oh, no, yep. No. <laughs> yep, that's right. Scorcher oh, fell into the grave oh, oh, with Google oh, Frog's oh, commander. Oh. Finished up, although he another one fell in afterwards it. and is now stuck. Oh, that's really bad. That will be enough for um to put Cubay and Magma Man back in the game after their terrible start. Yeah. Cubay is now transitioning into a cloak factory in the middle of the map. Which has a much more forward position. I'm sure he's going to build defenses around it, and it's a much better forward position than the one Magman Aquanim has. is taking on. And also the one Magman lot has. Of. And yeah, Magman's positions—it's it, good as well. It's about how Aquanim has. Like well, it's good for but, the starting um, position, but yeah, Aquanim is. Yeah, this proxy Cloaky Factory—I don't know. That's going to be probably pulling through. Let's see on this side of the map, I would say. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it'd just be probably Glaives. I don't see why be anything else. The red, the red team. Cubase just said more E. He's they're seriously stalling. They half as much energy as they do. Um, oh yeah. Uh, as they do Maxis. And you have what you have here is a morphed battle commander, making energy, which I think is just still a huge mistake. Obviously, but oh, um, they're, still in a really they're good recovering position. very quickly. And the thing is, this map yeah. has a ton of reclaim on it, so all they need to do in the interim. He's used a bunch of workers to reclaim. Yeah, Magman has a couple of constructors right now, which are assisting his factory, which he just should get on the trees. Yeah. yeah. At least briefly. Just although at this point they've stabilized, but yeah. For that brief, like those 20 seconds, definitely would have been a good idea to have that in there. They, they've accessed, over this situation, they've accessed a lot of metal because they were only producing, they were accessing half of their economy. And this is the critical phase when you're doing the factory switch. The factory switch is the time when you need your economy to be in, in good shape, mm -hmm. um, if you're going to run both factories. And he doesn't, he's, he's been making bombers this time, and he hasn't even finished his first one because of that. And this is the I time yeah, when uh, Google Frog is, is making a lot of an army, where he's moving forward with his constructors completely unmolested, he's not getting raided. So th they were in a really good position there after they killed the commander, but lacking the Good energy note supply. That, uh, uh, Aquanium also has caught up with uh, the fighters, so the bomber yeah. might not even do that much. Yeah, yeah economy. Oh, wow, it's, Aquanim it's already has oh well more. Seventeen fighters for 17. Aquanim, whereas Cube has looked like nine, twelve. I mean, Cube might be able to outmigrate. No, Cube is getting distracted by the scorches on the ground. And losing all of their fighters. Wow, every single one of their fighters is down. Oh, boy, boy, boy. And then down goes the Raven before anything happens. Just dead. That's that's really bad. The stall. It's basically the stall that, that, that made them leave. It put them behind in the fighter game, the air game. It put them behind, behind in the fact switch. It put um, Magman's behind 
that he's putting his commander instead of moving his commander into the middle of the map. His commander should be over halfway down the middle of the map. Yeah, the and, commander should be accompanying these upright. levelers here along getting yeah. rid of the mason and getting rid of the pack of swifts. He should have those mexes in the middle already already taken. And <laughs> it's dangerous to fly your swifts over levelers though. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Because they do tend to hit. Especially since they have oh, splash down. Oh they, wow! see what happens. That was... That was brilliant anti-air right there, thanks to the levelers. That, that's, that got <laughs> packed in a little bit too tightly. So that... Those... Was it 17 swifts get pared down to 6? Thanks to the levelers. There is one there, K. Is it saving grace to the left-hand team? Team QB is, is really uh, not out of this. Oh, check your guys' levelers, by the way. Ahead, uh, by the way, they have a good army of Rokos and levelers. Yeah. And they do have more metal income now. now. And they've claimed about half the map, and they're doing quite well now. Yeah, it's just, it's they're kind of relying on Google Frog Action to make as many mistakes, and that's a dangerous position to be in. Especially, you have to make sure you Level capitalize on mistakes. Because, ah. I mean, that fighter thing there, that was a mistake. They can capitalize on that. Because now they have a couple of has a couple of, he has a couple of um, Thunderbirds, which I am sure he's going to try and stun out to disable, disarm. Yeah, here it comes. Oh, perfect. Ooh, nice stun. All but one are stunned. Yeah, but that one is not going to help too much. It's going to try, but it's not going to enough shots off. And nope, it's gone. It is very and gone. Comes that another that was a good hit. Well. That was also exactly what they needed, otherwise this would have been very dire. Yeah, Yeah, they had no capacity to kill riot units at all. No. I mean, with five levelers coming in, those Scorchers would have been just done for. No questions yeah. asked. Yeah, but yeah. there are two new Scorchers, the new uh, levelers. levelers. Google Fog has actually switched to um, uh, to Ravages now because he he sees all these um, levelers, but Good yeah, choice, they but saved has, themselves on that. Well, at this point, yeah, we're still getting lots of levelers out of Magman. No switch over to Scorchers to try to deal with these Ravagers or Ravager, Ravager, just fight. Pure Ravager ball. QB's doing the uh, attack move Roko thing. Yeah, Aquanim I think needs to transition into a land factory. Um, Google Frog is actually building a tank factory now, so that's two land factories for him. Because they're mm. lo lo losing along the south hand side. Yeah, that. Yeah. There's not much that can be done about that. I mean, admittedly, not much anti air either, but still, it's. Just, there's enough. Yeah, Aquanim needs to be bombing these. He could stop it pretty much cold if he was bombing them. There are only three fighters by of QB. Yeah, that would be easy. Yeah. But. He's going over there now, but he, he needs to select all of his bombers and to deal with this, because there's enough Rocco's here that he needs to. All of his bombers to, to handle it. Well, the Chloe factory could go down with yeah, all these like, six bombers. That's 4,800 damage in one go. Although, I suppose the Rockers are the first things that should be gone, but still. Yeah, he I'm needs, not sure he if he knows how to use though. the. Uh, yeah, they're, they're not missing. dying. Yeah, well, actually, no, it seems to be okay. It seems to have figured it out by now. No, uh, it, it, he's, he's figured it out now, but yeah, he, he could have taken out most of the Rockers that are now arriving at the static defense line. Yeah. Luckily, he's attacking uphill into two light laser towers, so it's not too bad. That was dead. But now, um, well, he's missed his window because Cube is now spamming uh, gremlins. But now again, all those yeah. levels die. Wait, well, how many gremlins are there? Oh, oh yeah, oh wow, yeah, that that would be a problem. But also, but, but, although on the other hand, all these ravens. I mean, that's like 15 ravens for or 13 ravens or so for Aquanim. That could still. At least on the weaker lines. Oh, let's go he's it. completely misusing the area attack. Yeah. Uh, no, he doesn't. Yeah, this is just yeah. costing him the game. Because he does it is, it is costing the game. Yeah, definitely. Sheesh. So, yeah, for the benefit the of the viewer, maybe probably could have been go bombed. over a bit on the details of how you area attack, because apparently that may be a confusing thing. Yeah, what he's doing is he's using attack on an area which will bomb a random point within that area. What he needs to do is he needs to attack a unit with an area attack, which will attack random units within that area. So he's just been bombing the ground. Mm. And I think he's getting the hang of it now, or he might be. Or he's maybe ordering individual attacks. Yeah, um, I think Google Frog might be able to stabilize from here and clean up the AA, the AA, because that's basically all that's left there. Yeah, and then from there it's a matter of bombing everything else out and then... And then it's just yeah, Mag turned around again. Magman is, is is fortunately he's built this huge defender line, which is and really strong level five commander and stuff. But it's slightly less than fifty percent of the map, 
And if you're building all your defenses at slightly less than 50% of the map, the map, you're giving the enemy slightly more than 50% of the map, which is losing. <laughs> so <laughs> Kind of by definition, yeah. 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 Wow, that's a lot of auto um, repair on this. Drone, auto repair, riot cannon, and shield. <laughs> and cluster bomb, if DUNs are used. Yeah, um, it's surprising that Google Frog has not actually reclaimed his um, his commander yet, because there's quite a bit of metal there that's been sitting like at yeah, least one k. No, five hundred metal, like and stuff. then uh, yeah, nine hundred metal just by that burial site. Yeah, but much more than that if you go a bit beyond. Like, there's four thousand metal in the immediate area around it. Yeah, this has been a bit of a game of throws, really, because I mean you had. Had to throw early on of of oh whoa GBM what the... expanding enough okay I guess Google yeah, Frog this, I decided... I think, okay, the... they know they've lost too much territory yeah uh, you had the throw of, of QBM Magman at the, at the start um you know not expanding and having to expand backwards and not taking enough territory but then you had the throw uh, um uh, of them not having enough energy either but uh, yeah. Google Frog and Aquanim really didn't expand enough into the middle. Aquanim didn't transition out of air, and when he did use his bombers, he was using the wrong attack command. He was using an attack ground command rather than you attack you know, unit command, yeah. Attack unit command, which is like, yeah, he's really good, but there are areas of his knowledge which just, yeah, well, not up to scratch. Well, the area move or area attack unit command thing is not that well known. That's kind of why I decided we should go over it because I figure not everyone knows what it is offhand. Yeah. So mentioning it on stream that a lot of people are watching is a good idea. Yeah. It's it. You just attack on a unit and then the, with the contact command and just click and drag and it will draw out a, a circle which will encompass uh, every single unit within that will then get an attack order in sequence. If you hit control. Um, it will make it so that it attacks all the units you have selected will attack a random unit within the group of units um, that are potential targets. Um, whereas usually it would you'd have every single one hit one unit, then the next unit, then the next unit, then the next unit, and get a series of attack commands right. that go across the entire pack, which can actually be actually use that in raiders actually. in order to focus fire. Because it will make them hit one, kill it, then the next, kill it, then the next, kill it. It's really good for focus firing. But, but usually with um, shadows, you don't want to focus no, fire. You want to split them so that you each wanted, one is yeah. just dropping one bomb. But wouldn't random not necessarily guarantee that? Wouldn't it be better just to go, like, they select a unit and the unit's out of the stack to be selected? Yeah, I think, it, I think it's actually more correct to say each one will select a different target. Oh, okay. Rather than randomly. But, I mean, they will select the, which, one is, which bomber is assigned to which target is randomly, yes. But, um... Uh, each one, each one will attack a different target. Although I think the context command for that on bombers is actually switched, so that you don't need to press control when you're doing the attack, because that's the way you want to do it with with ravens. Mm -hmm. But um, for other units, if you want to do it that way, and if you want to do the, the attacking one target, then the next, then the next, the the conventional method, you can also hit control with bombers and do it that way. But yeah, it it it's switched because switched cause, just because the the context command makes more sense doing it that way for bombers. It does, but it looks like we are, well, we're just waiting on the map choice from Google Frog and Aquanim. It's very surprising to see Aquanim, after, you know, carrying the last game and doing a lot of really sort of advanced moves, um, although he's clearly being slightly tutored by Google Frog, but to see him um, <laughs> fail in such an elementary fashion. Maybe they're sitting next to each other and Google Frog uh, switched seats. <laughs> I, I don't think I think they are real life friends, but I don't, I don't know if they're in the same room. I doubt that. And anyway, <laughs> yeah, people are saying you know they're thinking they're obviously discussing what map they're going to pick next, what one they'll be strongest on. And people are saying, what are you thinking next? What, what are you, you, the aquatic team, thinking of going? Because <laughs> we saw that uh, Aquanim and Google Frog were actually quite strong on, yeah. um, on a water map. Although that was versus, frankly, a, a team of inferior skill because Google Frog's really good and Aquanim is, you know, keeping up. But, um, but yeah, Google Frog has a lot of experience with water and Aquanim has played at least one water game. 
So they might play against Tarn. I'm not sure QB and Magman have any experience with water, so they might they might pull that out. Yeah. Well, maybe. Blue CC. Oh yeah, blue comet. That's one idea. I don't know if I'd really go for that one. Oh well, actually no, it's Tartarus. This That's is uh, basics map, right? Uh, I made this, or no, I didn't make the geometry. I, I made the texture for this. This is um, Ruben um, Mestizo. I think his name was. He had a couple of names. Okay, well, I guess we're was on Tartarus, so that will be... No, it was basic. Excuse me, you're right. It was basic. And I made okay. the texture for this. It was the other one that was mysterious. That was Badlands or Deadlands. Yeah. Which one? But, which um... Maps? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I forget. <laughs> which well, Badlands which? is the one um, that we casted Deadlands, earlier today, Deadlands. and Deadlands we haven't seen yeah. in months. Yeah, Deadlands is... Deadlands um, is the one uh, with the three mexes in the center on a giant that hill is, that's that a big wedding cake. The whole thing yeah, is a way that is take. the exact opposite of how I design my maps, which is why we <coughs> scaled the, the, those three maxes down to really low values because right. that, that's that's terrible having that value there. I design my maps with dips in the middle, concaves in the middle, um, with no maxes there. You can see um, Kaleo. Yeah, so you do a value. Uh, actually, has lava in the middle, so you can't. So you have to go on the sides. And uh, yeah, Tartarus is Tartarus is actually a really good map because it has the mid, the maxes, the metal structures. They are all in the middle. Um, Except for quite a few more, but they're in a ring them. around the middle, so you can't just put go in the middle and then expand out to the sides to all the middle maxes. You need to sort of play in a ring. And I've actually played several games where it's it's like playing Pop Goes the Weasel or Ring Around the Rosie, where you're chasing down one side while the commander's pushing back your defenses, and you're sort of going in a in a in a ring or chasing each other around, pushing pushing out the defenses. And and it, it's a, it's a really I think a really interesting design. But one of the other interesting things about this map is um. The sides have two maxes each, the diagonal corners opposite the players, have two maxes each, which are only claimable by air, jump, or spiders. So expect one player from each team to go... Air, jump, or spiders. Air, jump, or spiders. Or gunships. Actually, gunships make more sense than the map this size, but we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, gunships coming in from Aquanim, and Goki from Google Frog. Cube and Magman not quite chosen what they're going to be going for. They literally don't know. Cube's plan is I don't know. Yeah, I, they're, they're discussing whether the middle is lava or not. They're not sure whether it's actually lava. It's, it's not. not. It doesn't do any damage. Yeah, it's just, but hmm. it's dry. It's cool. It's quite cool. Yeah. Okay. Cube knows it's not. It's burnt yeah. pizza. Yeah, QB knows. I don't need to tell them that. I was, I was asking Aquanim and Google Fog whether it's okay to tell them info about the map that no, the center is not lava. But uh, yeah, the QB knows it anyway. It's 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 actually it's the idea was that um it's steep enough that actually nothing can get in there, but actually lots of stuff can get in there. So yeah. we just, just never made it lava. But it's actually actually I think really interesting. Because spiders can get in there and shoot over the sides if they're recluses or come up and surprise. So even though the sides are only accessible by spiders and the rest is mostly flat, which you think, oh, actually that's actually bad for um, spiders, it, the rest of the map being mostly flat, they have these bolt holes that they can retreat into. And the bit of the lip on the side, the middle thing has a bit of a lip on the side, mm -hmm. means that it's also hard to shoot into it. Okay, well the game has started and is sound should be on. The Spiders and Vehicle Factory form Cubay and Magman, respectively. That was the other part of it. Six Fleas coming up before anything else, and three Scorchers, while Q... Oh, Google Frog. I have Google Frog going for... Looks like... Just one Glaive. Single Glaive before going for Builders, so not being very aggressive. And a Brawler Rush! The wow. Single Glaive hiding the Brawler Rush. The Fleas should probably find that out quickly enough. Oh, wow, they're going to find that out way too quickly. I don't see how this is going to... They've done this several times now, haven't they? So Yeah. This is pretty much the same as what happened on Frozen Planet. Except the arrangement's slightly different, so it's not going to be quite... It's not going to be quite the same. He's seen it, I guess. I think. Did he see it? He I has think seen it. 
Yeah. So it's okay. Let's put it down the defender up. And yep, it was seen. Gunship plant was seen. Therefore, brawler rush is most likely seen. And the response is not unexpected. Tarantula, Tarantula and nothing actually. Mason's probably going to build defender nest. A brawler. And a razor coming up as well. Oh boy, this is going to be rather yeah. difficult to deal with for Cuba and Magman. I think. Yeah, Magman's starting his his brawler nest now, but it's it's not near anything. It's not near. Um, uh -oh. stop protecting no, very that, much. that raises too far away as well. I mean, everything can go along the east side, go north, and then just Ooh, one dead south. south. Google Fox Commander. Oh, wow. Perfect Scorcher dive right there. Well, at least they got rid of that, but still. Uh. It doesn't matter. The Brawl Rush got out. But that was a very nice Scorcher dive. Yeah. QB is saying, um, don't make a defender nest. Brawler outranges defenders. <laughs> Um, <laughs> which will keep them, it'll keep the brawler busy for a little bit, but ultimately, yeah, you yeah. need uh, mobile A or, uh, a or well, even the ra razors. Well, the razors are not bad because of the defense, but even then, it's only when they're not firing. It's mostly the range that even helps deal with it. And the glaive's coming in. Oh, Magman oh. dropping the commander down. So, yeah, forget up. it. Kill the defenders instead. Why not? That'll work. And the constructor. Oh, amazing. That shoots a lot of things out of it. Mason getting killed off too. He also and made him waste a lot of resources on that pit. Google That's is having a lot of trouble cheap. with his, his economy. He needs to get, he has an idle constructor here. He needs to get it out and reclaiming. Oh, yeah, but... They've successfully yeah. done what I've, I've said they should do for a while now, which is just uh, snipe out um, Google Frog and then deal with acronym. On one, well, of, one, one basis. We really think he but, can get yeah, but, the factory? I don't think so. Well, let's see what we have here. We have Venom, which does have the, I think it has the range. 65, 60. It, it should do, yeah. But that's... Oh, it's going to go it over the lip. very close. If it goes over the lip, it's going to be basically dead. Because the Brawler will have an easy time hitting it. But there is no, a it drop doesn't. of a Constructor on the top left, right? No, QA's clever about left. that. Yeah. Do you see it? Yep. Yeah, he's using a lot of transports, which is... He's transport... They've dropped on both sides. And only the spiders could displace that. So if he puts, you know, An LP. something to defeat fleas. Yeah, that's fleas. That's, that, that's all he needs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very clever. Seen a lot of use of transports, which is not that common. You well, don't see Valkyrie seen almost ever. A lot of Valkyrie warrior drop. Like, Valkyrie warrior drop is not uncommon, mm. but that's the only one that's like. These worker drops, that I've never really seen. I kind of wish I had saw more of them, and it makes sense to be two more than 1v1. But, yeah, you don't see them much because building a gunship, building that transport is just... I mean, you're building a gunship factory for a transport? Unless you're going for something really powerful. Unless you're going to get something that actually pays for the fact that you basically gone for a factory switch. That's 10 metal per second that could have been going over to your main factory to build more units. You kind of make up for it by dealing a lot of damage or expanding to an extra layer. It's, it's 2 versus 2, which is what makes it viable. Yeah, exactly. Um, Aquanim, Aquanim was clearly stalling Micro there, which is... Yeah, when he was microing his brawler, his commander was idle. When really he should be reclaiming Google Frog's commander and sending it to Google Frog. Mm -hmm. uh, although they do also need energy, I suppose. It's because they need to both yeah. replay the brawler and use the reclaimed metal. Yeah, and that's and right now Aquanim's working on a um a nano tower in the middle of his base, which when really, really isn't the best um, time to for that. No, 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 no. Because Google Frog. But it's okay because Google Frog is actually building um wind on the high ground, which is. You know, this oh, of course. Will give really oh, yeah, point seven boost. minimum too. That's great. Mm. Yeah, this is awesome. Okay, so there. But the the middle fine. is being firmly taken with, with like six max metal extractors in the middle at least. Um, you know, up to eight, mm. and that's really that's really the zone you want to control. Well, it looks like that's not the zone that's going to be controlled by Gilgafoy and and Aquinum anytime that's, soon. There. Yeah, but uh, the anti air is on the left side. Brawler, brawler is on the right side. Ah, yes. And does yeah, outrange the slasher as well. Now. Getting rid of both of the slashers. The crashers are nowhere near to be found. Tarantula's he can take two found. hits if he can take out the uh, slasher. Yeah, no. it's that split attention, gets uh, one. Split, split focus that this this map sort of requires you to push along two fronts, which is why it's interesting for a two as a two. Very interesting yeah. for a one versus one as well. Especially since one of the players, Aquinum, is basically playing on their own at the moment with Google Frog fairly weak. Though the Google Frog seems to be catching up a bit. Oh, I see. Aquinum is building He's a caretaker. A that's of, um, actually fine. Because you notice that's Aquinum's caretaker, so Aquinum's metal is actually getting pushed into yeah, Google. Yeah, he has a to, uh, Google Frog. So it's Frog working now, fine. Yeah. Like, just can't really build from the gunship factory, but that's, that's fine. In mass Zeus and warrior and... Oh, well, not warrior, actually. 
surprisingly enough. Mass Zeus instead. Not sure. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, economy. Uh, it's quite um, remarkable. Yeah, it's because um, twenty-four. Magma and Cube have not yet taken the the middle expansion. They've only taken their half of it, which is you know not quite enough to offset the hills. But you should take the um, metal extractors in the lower half of the hills too, because you can easily put a defender or a uh, laser tower actually on the um, well, hills, yeah. which will defend the lower ground. So Cube is not really um, laser going for this. I mean, Cube does not. Cube sort of knows something's up there, but not really. So they haven't really checked, and Magman, on the other hand, is being kind of forced to retreat a bit when it comes to anything they do. And they aren't checking up the top, or the bottom right corner, the southeast corner. So ultimately, at this point, there isn't really much that Q Bear and Magman are going to be likely to do. Yeah, there's a Zeus push coming, in, which is destroying these um, slashes entirely. Yeah, and it's also threatening the Magman's com commander. So Magman's commander is basically. Well, the fleas are going to come in no, and no, help no. out. There no, no, no. There is plenty he's of right. uh, reinforcements. He needs to get he another high ground, though, before these Scorchers get him. Uh, he yeah, he no, he's not going to be able to. He, if he, oh, if he'd, he'd not go for the commander and just kill the Scorcher, he'd be all right. Yeah, but unfortunately... Because he can retreat under this high ground. Bots have an advantage. There are a lot of vehicles. And fleas. Fleas are actually quite good against Zeus. Oh, boy. Trent, well, there's a Weaver coming in here. That's not so bad, but... Yeah, these Zeus is... I don't know. I mean, the commander's still coming back in. The Zeus has had a lot of... Excuse me for a second. <coughs> Zeus is a, a pretty strong, but um, they, they weren't making costs. Not against um, Scorchers. Well, they're still not dead, though. I mean, now they've gotten rid of the Scorchers, and they have, they're still alive. Yeah, he's already lost four, which is really not acceptable. Oh, oh I see. Yeah, right. I guess that won't work, then, will it? You can kill the commander at this point. Actually, no, 13 metal. That, that could still work. Killing the commander is definitely more useful here than it would be in 1v1. Killing the commander would, would make it worthwhile, but um, he's almost lost one, one of his If you can get a tarantula, then that brawler will become so strong again. Oh, and that tarantula? Yeah. Oh, no, it's way out of range. There's no way to get that. The glaze are going to try. You can uh, send it in now. But that scorcher... Oh man, getting rid of that. The commander is more now. He has an auto repair and auto, yeah, uh, right, right man, that's not He needs to get up onto the high ground and, and use that to, to harass from, I think. Yeah, no, no this is, well, he's, he's, oh, this is waste attack again. The scorches. This is not worth it. The Zeus no, alone will be fine. Um, a scorches alone will be fine. But together, he can't focus the, the, um, he can't focus the commander and get it stunned because there's just too many, um, uh, there's too many scorches. Yeah, which. These would be the best course of action would have, been gone, have gone for warriors as support. He's left a ton of reclaim now, right around within the zone of the stinger, just within the range of the stinger itself. There is one K reclaim. Oh. And yeah. they still have not taken. They still have, you know, 500 or so reclaim that they're only just taking now uh, with a construction plane. Yeah, 11:30 reclaim. With a crank. They should, they should have taken. One of the big things is that when your commander dies, it's okay. You have 500 worth of metal that you can invest into Zeus, static defenses, economy, whatever you need to replace the commander. The fact that they didn't take that early when Aquanim's commander was sitting right next to it and was idle for some of that time as well. Um, although they might have not had the energy to spend it. But the fact that they didn't, they couldn't do that is a bit of a mistake, really. Yeah, not to mention there's Cubase coming in with a proxy. Proxy Hovercraft Factory with Halberds going on top of that, which is just going to be pulling in. Probably just directly running in the base. There's not much here other than Brawler, so probably would hit the Caretaker, I imagine. They're mostly even on economy still at this point, which is good. That's true. So, mostly because Cuba is actually really far down and Magman's considerably higher up, thanks to the reclaim. If Magman's commander going to the right corner now, it's becoming dangerous. Yeah, he's, he's clearing He can send his brawler, though. Mm -hmm. or, or did it die? Was, no, oh, the brawler's it's, uh, on there. It's sitting inside the main base. Or it was. It's being moved out now. Where is that brawler? Oh, no, it's still sitting in the main base. Okay. Yeah, it's, just, it's just chilling. Not doing much. But it is... Yeah, now the halberd's coming in, which... There we go. Oh, the halberd's getting stunned out too quickly. Two of them just go down. Two die for nothing. Yeah, well, at this point, Goofrog kind of needs to make up for the, lo the loss of those Zeuses. 
he is um uh, taking out this. Um, when, once that uh, yeah, start does that, gone, march in. Uh, at that point, yeah, definitely going go in with. Goes down. I think that's something I've noticed this game too. Is there's been a lot of use of hammers. Seems like the meta has managed to shift to deal with the mass defenses. I, I think it's Google Frog. He just he, he likes hammers. Yeah, fair enough. He doesn't build too many of them, but like three or four or five. It's it's not that expensive. It's only the cost of two Zeus, and you can clear defenses for free without taking any damage. So it's a reasonable. Yeah, I guess people forget that because they figure, well, the raiders are going to kill me if I, I do that. I think he can push uh, forward if those uh, Zeus. Yeah. Tons of scorches on the left side, on the yeah, right side. Poor time for a reaper. Oh, the but there's to save plenty of defense. There's lots of yeah, lots of defenses, and, and now that, that's enough. The reaper that's should be able to push in then, I guess. Zeus. That injected 1k reclaim, but almost into that area, which is which will help them a lot. Oh, since, perfect. Um, this Zeus attack. He lost the hovers, he lost the turrets, he lost the units. And then you have uh, oh, wow. Reapers on the other side. Yeah, I think... Which is... This is really strong. Yeah, I think Goofrog and Akron have managed to tilt this. It was fairly even, and now it's... It has tilted over into their favor. Those Scorchers... Yeah, the those, attack, that was the, the one... The forward reclaim. base was way too opportunistic, or too... Yeah, although, yeah. immediately... Well, Magman is trying their best going in here, but I don't think they are... Oh, they did terraform the ramp, so the southeast side is actually very vulnerable. Yeah, the yeah. commander just walks just right in. Just terraforms the I ramp. Think, I think it's the uh, it's the uh, fax switch which caught them out, and the use of heavy assaults when they're going very defensive. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they had a huge scorcher ball. Scorchers are great against assaults in general, um, but they ran into the defense, thinking, "Oh well, I can you know I can do, do an attack and do some damage." Right at the time when Aquanim and Google Frog had a perfect army to yeah, with the Reapers and Zeus's together, yeah, that just that what that was what the the reclaim that Magman got from uh, his head from his le his heavy laser time, his stinger, and he turned it into uh, I'm not sure um, if this scorches and throw it away, threw it away, so it gave it back basically. Yep. So basically, the Zeus loss was totally made up for, which explains why his commanders, the commander is going down. commanders went down. Yeah. So Cubase commander is down. Magman's commander is actually dealing a fair amount of damage, but I think it's way too late. Way. That way was too really late. close there. That was really close there. I think it was the the, the factory switch because Aquanim had had his gunship factory off for a long time. He built one brawler and then switched entirely into land. I think he needed to, consider Google Frog was so crippled. Mm. But he switched into pumping into Google Frog's factory and into making his own land factory, and. It rendered all the investment in anti-air anti completely useless. Also, they invested heavily into uh, defenders and defenses in general, which also became useless when you switch into assaults. Yeah, which of course means, well, this. So that was... Yeah, that was that, that was really good executed mid-game turn, which just turned the game from being slightly in, in QB and Magman's favor into just a stomp. Yeah, pretty much. So Yeah, and they weren't... Also, they uh, QB let... Google Frog have the corners. Yeah, they that was... Spiders they could have been checking. That was a big thing, too. I think... Although, let's see. Corners... Oh, yeah, that's 10 metal right there. That That's the caretaker, pretty much. That basically made up for the loss of the commander. Easily. Well, that was the factory on its own, but... Yeah, definitely. They should have secured the, the six metal extractors around the um, lava pool. If you just can just... You don't need to focus so much on the sort of wider extent of the sides. You just, like, put a couple of laser towers mm -hmm. um, covering those just like on the lip of the lava pool um, you can get a lot of metal out of that and yeah I guess they were just worried about getting hit because they were trying to take the half and then thought oh well they're going to take us they're going to destroy our metal extractors if we push too far forward and yeah so I guess the takeaway is take the center metal spots on Tartarus as if they were a single metal spot and be a bit careful with your scouting when you know you're if you suspect your opponent's going fax switch and just generally scout around. Keep saying that. Yeah, I think that this thing is, on this map, the sides are really important too because they can remain. If they're taken, they're really hard to crack. So yeah, this is the case where you have a map which is very focused around the middle, not about having a single unbreakable point in the middle because you need, you, you need six. You know, it's in, inaccessible. But um, but about there being a lot of metal in the middle, but also the sides being incredibly important and very hard to break if taken. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's going to be it then. That was it. Thank well, congratulations to Google Frog and Aquanim for winning the August 2 2 tournament. A little bit smaller than you normally used to, but hey, well done nonetheless. So, I hope you all enjoyed that little stream. Thank you guys for joining me. That was 
really nice to have you on. It was a good, good evening, good morning, good day for a good six and a half hours of of, of putting a day into to casting. A couple oh, yeah, of days. Much. It's been longer than I anticipated. Well, yeah, me too. Man, I thought it'd be three good, or five great hours. Games, it was good to cast. Them. How, I, I didn't expect seven and a half. Oh, well. no, sorry, six and a half. It's six been and six, and half. And a half. six and a half. I'm not even sure what I'm thinking. Okay, but yeah. So that was that was it, and that was interesting. A lot of cool games. A lot of stuff learned from you guys, which is why I enjoy having people on because then it makes lots more learning. There's lots of people experiences. And apparently my addiction has now been completely shot. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed that, and I will be signing off now. So, goodbye all. Thank you again, and thank you. <laughs> goodbye. Well, good night all. <laughs>